Hi guys, Jared here again. I hope you're all doing great. Today, I've got a review of the four, yes, that's four, Red Fox B1B cockpit sets for the Ravel 48 scale model. These are the new 3D colored type. Okay, let's get into it. Welcome to the desk. So today we're gonna have a look at the Red Fox Studios 148 scale B1B Lancer black edition instrument panel series, the 3D printed series for the early edition B1 cockpit. So if you're interested in uh, the difference between the early and the late cockpit sets, um, we'll do a separate video on that. The basic difference is the early sets are the uh, B1s as they were initially produced um, back in uh, 84, 85 on. And the late sets are the uh, IBS, Integrated Battle Station, uh, sets the uh, upgraded cockpits that were released in the mid-2015. Okay, the uh, Red Fox Studios 3D instrument panels are part of the new 3D printed technology type sets that we've started to see out of some of the European nations. So Red Fox Studios are based in Hungary. Uh, their website is www.rfstudio.hu. Great bunch of guys over there and their website's easy to order from. So when you order and receive your products, at the moment they're sending out uh, stickers for uh, use if you like. So your Red Fox Studio stickers and for some of their earlier sets, if you get them a uh, funky coaster slash bottle opener. So I need to keep that on the workbench. So let's have a look what you get in each of the sets. So once you take it out of the packet, you've got a very nice uh, printed um, color sheet, if you would, with all of the individual part numbers on them in reference to. You could almost use that as a separate decal or um, glue on type thing if you needed to, but why bother when you've got this? So this is the instructions that you get. So it lays out, uh, so the kit number, well, this is their RFSQS48009. Of course, it's for the 48 scale Ravel kit, the only kit available in 48 for the B1. Um, these sets are, it says they're UV protected. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for your models, unless you're keeping them outside. Bendability, so they can conform and extremely well detailed. So the parts, what we've actually got to do is they show you the kit parts here and what you need to do to them. And as it says, blue parts are not smooth. Please sand them first. If we're familiar with photo etch sets, we know that we pretty much have to always remove the parts, the um, raised detail. It says here, parts can be glued together with PVA glue or cyocranolite. The upgraded parts can also be washed with enamel or acrylic paint. Usable varnish types are ester, white spirit, nitro, lacquer, and acrylic based. Durable UV service, maximum bendability, tolerance of five degrees. So here it shows which parts go where. Pretty straightforward, really. So let's have a look at the actual parts themselves. Okay. As you can see, it's extremely detailed. And if I can pin them up, you can see all of the switches, dials, knobs, etc., are raised. Extremely detailed, colored. And for each of the sets, they do two versions, what they call the regular version and the black edition. The basic difference between the black edition is the screens are all off. So a bit hard to see in here, but the screens there are on. 
and the screens there are off. So your choice which one you're going to do. We might have a look at is comparison to the Eddard sets. So this is the Eddard set of the photo etch, the colored photo etch that is available for the B1. So this is the set that comes with the platinum edition for that. So let's have a look at the, at the difference like. So I think the detail on the Red Fox sets are night and day compared to the Eddard, as you can see, or you know, it's, you're all familiar with photo etch, flat as attack. Well, there's a slight raise on that, but comparatively. So your level of realism is vastly, vastly better with these sets. One of the things you don't get though is some of the things like the throttle uh, quadrants here um, and some of the levers around the place. So you can either scratch build those or if you've got this set as well, steal those out of those. So if we have a look here at these particular parts, right here. So this is the throttle quadrant on the um, Fox, Red Fox area, and this is the throttle quadrant on the uh, Edrard set. And as you can see, there's a little box here that builds up and goes on there with the throttles in it. Here, you've just got the gap area, so you can easily do that, build that yourself and put that on there. Same for the center console, that area right there is where the throttle quadrant would be. All right, so let's have a look how they look on the actual so what I've just got here is, these are the kit parts. So let's compare them. The main head. So here's what you've got on the kit parts. Uh, versus the actual sets. I think anyone would agree the difference is phenomenal. Okay. The uh, only thing I can find on these by looking at these in comparison to the actual pictures is where they've met these, made these fit to the actual cockpit set. The area here on, on the cockpit where the warning lights show up along here um, is a little bit smaller than it is on the real deal because of the size of this part on there when that sits in here like so uh, there's just not enough room and they have made the set, the set to fit that perfectly let's have a look here if I so these are not stuck down onto this they're kind of well they're kind of laid on it so for example, here's a piece here, they, they, they kind of come up very easily. They, it's almost like a, uh, you know, just sort of placed on there. For argument's sake. Obviously that just needs positioning a little bit better on there. So uh, let's have a look if we can take off this one here. Really simple as that. This is one of the upgraded sets, the IBS detail sets. So all you're basically doing is uh, painting your kit parts in the base color and sticking those down onto it. I mean, what did that take about two seconds to do to put on? So, yep, I'm uh, convinced that these are the way to go. Personally, I may go with the um, dark ones myself, but you can, let's have a look, take those out. 
the thickness of these. Uh, let's look, we put a light behind it. See what it shines through like. A little bit bright there, but no, that's way too bright. But if I hold it up to the light, I can easily see through those. You can't see what I'm doing, obviously. Um, I didn't think about this ahead of time. But there's enough thickness there or thinness to uh, enable you to put an LED or something behind that, I'm sure. So once again, let's come on to this. Detail on these things is amazing. Okay, guys, that was a quick look at that. I might do a review of the individual sets. So there you go, so there's four sets in total, uh, an on and an off early set, and an on and an off late set. And the only difference I can really see with the late set is we have an additional part, which is right here. Okay, and that's the uh, laptop screen. So there's not an actual spot for that, and it says that here. The location of this item is not included in the kit. We have to make this item on demand. So that's actually the laptop um, that can sit on the front canopy here. It actually sits up there and folds down uh, when the aircraft is airborne. And the, the uh, front cockpit could previously display... Um, uh, targeting information etc on those uh, that is also sometimes kept in the back on the little shelf that's here so I look forward in the future uh, some bone fragment sets to update these maybe a new cowling that actually has a spot for the laptop there to go and some new areas in the back here okay that was the new Red Fox Studios 48 scale B1 cockpit sets in 3D. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, drop a like if you did, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we're gonna be trying to do a few more videos. We're gonna do some build videos of some of the Bone Fragments products coming up shortly. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions arising from this video regarding these sets or modeling the B1 at all, just stick them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. I'd really appreciate you subscribing and liking if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see anything further on the bone, just put what you'd like to see in the comments below and I'll do my best to make a video for you. Thanks. Take care.